Okay. It's absolutely fantastic to be here. And to everybody on board USS Harry S. Truman, uh, first, uh, Mick Bond and I just uh, landed today, came on board, want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. And I, want to, I just have uh, really two messages. First message is everybody in the United States Navy and in uh, national leadership is watching your deployment. You are really defining the cutting edge of operations here as you and the rest of the strike group uh, get out and exercise this uh, concept of dynamic force employment. And so you've seen it for yourself, everything from operations in the high north and the seas and the wind and the sleet and everything that the cold, everything that that embodied to here to the beautifully calm seas of the Mediterranean. And so as you get our Navy back into what we were built for, which is really moving around the world at the time and place of our choosing, uh, everybody's watching the Harry S. Truman Strike Group to see how uh, this can be done. And we're going to learn a ton from you. And i got to tell you that uh, tremendous admiration and respect for everything that you've done. And the other message I've got is really just to say uh, on behalf of everybody who's back home, uh, they're all spending uh, time at Thanksgiving meal with their families, and they are absolutely and tremendously thankful for what you are doing. And we're very mindful that uh, while we spend a uh, comfortable time at home, you are out here at the pointy end of the spear doing a tremendously difficult and dangerous work. Uh, you do so to protect America from attack, certainly, but also to promote our interests around the world and make us a more prosperous nation. And so on behalf of everybody back home uh, on this Thanksgiving Day, just want to tell you how thankful we are for everything that you're doing to stay on the watch uh, during this holiday. Uh, continue to be safe. We'll be wandering around the ship. Look forward to meeting all of you. That is some tough stuff. Yes, sir. Anyway, we, we were just coming downstairs, figured I'd come say hello. The, the tactical relevance of weather and uh, because we know it so much better we can now use it as a tactical tool so it's, it's great. Yeah. for the long term another big deep low so this was uh pretty cyclic every two to three days while we were up there operating folks and the weather guys would lay down multiple tracks uh, with different options and then <laughs> okay you guys happy thanksgiving to you all right thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. so this is uh, sir yeah you know me nice to meet you yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. We're nice to bring back. Hey, how you doing? Very nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Eat the pubs and they say one of the things to make sure you bring along is a bunch of baseball bats just to beat the ice off. And listen, I know it's a holiday and everything, and uh, you know nothing makes uh, the day like to see you know come to visit. Uh, but I appreciate you having a uh, really kind of gotten the sixth fleet back up to fighting trim, and uh, it's been a long time since they got a chance to operate a strike. Hey, what's going on? Just him? Just him? Okay. 
So we're, we're working through all that. It's actually making progress. I got to tell you that BAH gets a tremendous amount of attention. Uh, you do a lot of choices, and you can pick and choose what your best situation is. I got a lot of things I can offer you. Right? I can offer you geographic stability. I can offer you. Uh, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? sitting at the table with the CNO, you know, that was something spectacular to me, so. You asked me, like, how's the conversation? Uh, I mean, he was real casual with conversation. He just asked us kind of where we were from and kind of started out that way. Um, but, I mean, for me as a junior sailor, as junior as I am, uh, I had a lot of first classes and people, Master Chief at the table, uh, and... I needed to listen. Like it was a time for me to really sit back, listen to the conversation around me. They asked some really good questions um, about the Navy, about a couple of things that uh, he implemented in the Navy, and definitely it was a good time for me to listen and see my next steps towards um, where I need to be later on in my career. So, 
uh, the good things. Would you say that was a good way for you to celebrate Thanksgiving? It was better than being with my family. <laughs> It was a special moment, definitely. It, was, it, was, it really was. I'm really thankful for them to come out, uh, you know, and just be around, you know, our team as uh, the strike group and stuff like that. It was really, really awesome. It's pretty cool. I feel pretty lucky. Not a lot of people get to say they re enlisted with the CNO. And uh, why did you go? It's not everybody makes that decision. Uh, I re-enlisted to finish my engineering degree. I love traveling the world, and the re-enlistment bonus is definitely very nice. Uh, do you know anyone else here that's re-enlisted co-workers? Uh, no, I knew a few people that were trying to re-enlist, but they weren't able to make it. Uh, did you know you were going to re-enlist right when you joined the Navy, or was it kind of a decision made? No, I wasn't sure when I joined, but once I've been on board for a while, and got in the groove of things. It's not that bad. It's pretty easy. Well, anything else you'd like to add? Any shout-outs? No, that's it. I can't think of anything. <laughs>